Oh, my nipples, they hurt. They hurt when I twist them. Hi. Uh, question and answer video. That's what you're here for. Ignore that. Uh, let me just put on my glasses then. Hmm. <laughs> Silly hipster glasses. No, let's, let's, let's keep this sensible. Let's do some, some intensive theological research. So I'm going to put on the lensless glasses so as to not ruin the experience. Okay, let's go from the bottom upwards. So that's uh, like I had your mum. Uh, so those are the earliest questions first. This one is from T Ted Atlas. Uh, what's your favourite genre for video games? Probably RPGs. I know that's really nerdy. Um, but the the video game I love right now, everyone's heard of it, it's Mass Effect, because it's like a shooter, kind of handles like Gears of War and stuff. But there are a lot of RPG elements, and you know, you create your own character, and there's like this big world to explore. So I like RPGs, but Mass Effect is like a nice sort of combo. My favourite game in that genre altogether, hmm, my favourite series is probably the Golden Sun series for the GBA and for the DS, but there's also a, a single game for the Dreamcast and the GameCube, which is called Skies of Arcadia, which I also loved. Uh, Sonny Chew's number one fan asks, who is your favourite Monkey Dust character? Um, probably the, uh, I think his name's Roy, uh, he's the classically trained actor, him, he's really funny. Uh, getting hit on at the ban asks Bakunin butt sex. Um, most definitely. Uh, Sikar asks, "What's with the faggy glasses?" Uh, I just got them from a cinema. Everyone gets them from there. Uh, Adler to Adler asks, "Can I ask a question?" Um, you clearly asked one there, so obviously you're capable. Conformist Dave asks, "If you form, if you were forced to perform fellatio on either Attila the Hun or Genghis Khan, who would you choose and why?" Uh, I don't think it matters as long as I wouldn't have to choose Hannibal Barker. Death9719 asks, what is your favourite kind of candy? Favourite kind of candy would probably be Mawam. Uh, particularly the raspberry ones. Oh, oh, fucking lovely. Do you like Harry Potter? Uh, I haven't read all the books. I read up to four and then I just lost interest. But they are brilliant and I did enjoy all the films. So, yeah. Um, have you ever run around screaming la 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 while waving a flag with a pig fucking a porcupine on it? Um, you, what you mean, you mean the flag, I lay the flag on the floor and a pig fucks a porcupine on the flag, or the, fl the flag depicts a pig fucking a porcupine? It details me, otherwise I don't know what you're talking about. I have never run around screaming la 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 though. Have you ever been pied in the face, non-sexual? Um, I once did a sort of play when I was like 11 at school and one of the gags in it was then I would get a pie in the face so kind of weird when will you get a job fag that one's from Silvell's um, I have a job so shows you shows what you know uh, has anyone ever told you you look like Daisy from Spaced uh, as long as you say Davy uh, Davy as long as you say Daisy from Spaced and not De and not Denise from the royal family where she's a lot fatter um, Dan Mickey asks, are you extreme enough to be the... Oh, no, that's not a question for me. That's a question for someone else. Dan Mickey... Oh, here we go. If I buy you Minecraft, will you agree to help me make my Minecraft atheist video? It will be just like the Minecraft chick, except with an extra dose of reason and logic. All you have to do is record yourself playing mine Minecraft and talk about how much God is a faggot. I actually will play Minecraft probably after the exams, but until then, I... I because I, I, I know that if I start playing it, I'll get hooked. 8W9, oh, I'm not reading all that, asks, Do you ever dress up like a lady? No, but uh, nothing against those who do, you know. Uh, how do you get to be so sweet? I, I cover myself in honey, and then I just lay there like a cocoon. Uh, Frasa Anarchy asks, Would you seductively lick your palms while staring seductively at the picture of George Orwell you have for a fiver? The picture of George Orwell I have is him surrounded by a whole bunch of other people though, so like if I lick my palms in that general direction it would probably look like I was licking my palms to Emmanuel Kant. So I don't think I can offer you the service that you, you require. Liberal Gamer 4 asks, marry one, kill one, bum one. Steph Bot fringe elements and David Duke's facial hairs. Um, I'd marry Steph Bot because I think he would probably be a good father. Uh, David Duke, I'd kill him. I'd 
I don't take David Duke seriously. And I would bomb fringe elements with pleasure. Uh, so, like, Ryan, if you're, you know, if you're in town, I'd like to bum you, please. Um, did you hear about Chris Chan getting laid? Uh, I think this should be uh, pretty scary, actually, for the user Aptendo, who I've talked about before, because uh, this basically means that now Chris Chan is higher up on the food chain than Aptendo is. List the races in order of attractiveness. Ooh, Christ. I can't answer this without pissing off somebody. I don't think, I mean, most of the attractive people I know are white. Um, but that's because I know more white people. I suppose I've never, I've never, ever, ever seen an attractive looking uh, Australian uh, Aborigine. You know what I mean? So I suppose, I suppose those would be at the, the bottom. After that, I'd take it or leave it. Uh, list prominent political YouTubers, especially in the libertarian and anti-status camps, in order of fighting ability and attractiveness. Uh, well, obviously I'm at the top, um, and I'm one belt away from karate, so I could probably kick your asses, all of you. Um, after that, I think it's all periphery, isn't it? But I, I suppose, I mean, Laughing Man, he would probably, I mean, he's, he's grown up in Japan, so he probably knows how to handle himself. Fringe Elements has all of the guns. Um, Mr. One Thousand One Nights, I think, would be at the bottom because he's like pro gun control, so he he just he let himself get bum raped by robbers. Um, hmm. attractiveness, I don't know. Again, me again. Um, ideal sexual partner, probably a shapeshifter, like not not Ditto out of Pokemon. Um, no, not Ditto out of Pokemon. But somebody who could, you know, if I get bored of the way they look, they could just transform into something, like, in case I feel a bit more adventurous. There we go, you can't, you can't lose. How tall are you? I think it, I think I'm like 6 foot, 5, 11, something like that. Uh, is the plural penis peni? I uh, don't think so, no. Uh, cactus and fungus, which is US, are, but penis, I don't think so. Aesthetic tastes. Um, I have no interest in aesthetics. Do you like Warhammer? No, because it's for nerds. Yeah, I don't, I don't play Warhammer, it's for nerds. Um, how often do you exercise? Like, twice a day, but not, not for very long. So that's what... Yeah, look at it on. And that's not for masturbating. Um... What was the next question? What's with what's up with all the autist, gay, Jew, anti-statists? A lot of yeah, a lot of Jews are anti-statists, or a lot of anti-statists are Jews. And you have Walter Block and Rothbard and 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 David Friedman. I don't know why that is. Gay? I don't know about that. The only gay person I can think of is Fringe Elements and Jeffrey Tucker. Uh, aut autists? Yes, quite a lot of Aspies. Yeah, I don't I don't know why. I think it's I think it's partly because obviously. Anti-statists just want all the money for themselves, so that's why it attracts Jews. Gays want to be left alone to bomb everyone, so that's why it attracts gays. Autists, they are literally um, economic robo-man or homo economicus, so libertarianism appeals to them because they are just cold, hard, utility-calculating machines. How often do you fap? Every day. Biggest turn-offs, um, when they say no, uh, appendage size, which appendage? Um, oh, my penis. Um, it's about that big when it's erect, it's about that big when, no, sorry, it's that big when it's soft, that big when it's erect. But it also decreases in girth slightly, and it also shoots. That way, it also shoots in a diagonal fashion, it's really inconvenient. So, can we not, can we not talk about this? Uh, da, 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 MBTI, oh, I forget what it was, begins with an I, mind, I forget what it was. Um, if you are reading this, didn't finish the end of the sentence, so the joke doesn't work. Uh, people have already asked this format of question about eight times, but, shag, marry, kill, that's another one of those. Black acid lizard, maracu, in Mendham. Um, probably kill in Mendham, I'd probably, I'd probably shag maracu. Because he did once say to me that if like if he, we could go into the Matrix, he would just be a woman. So it wouldn't be gay if I shagged him. And Black Acid Lizzie, yeah, I'd marry him. Whatever. Skid Row Radio has asked the whole list. 
If you're in a club and a very attractive woman lady person comes up to you and gives you the eye, would any of the following be a deal breaker for a sexual liaison? A. She smells a bit like puke. Definitely. That would be a... Oh, I could never... Oh, couldn't do it. Absolutely. Uh, B. She has a massive Adam's apple. Uh, I need to see pictures. I can't see that as a turn off. C. She has six fingers on one hand. Um... I, I don't see it as unattractive, it's just weird, so I don't think it would do anything. Two, three video games that made you feel like the real world is pointless. Well, obviously, uh, Mass Effect, because, you know, even that seems insignificant, because all, everything that goes on is just in that galaxy, and then everything outside the galaxy they refer to as dark space, so even that seems minuscule. And then when, when that dawned on me how minuscule that was, I then thought, well, shit, what about real life? All we ever talk about is a shit that happens within a few um, hospit hospitable locations on our little globe. So, yeah, very insignificant. Um, I suppose, again, Skies of Arcadia, because I will never be a space pirate. No, I will never be a sky pirate, an air pirate, and that's that's just real sad. Um... And I guess, I can't think of anything else that's made me feel like the world is pointless. I, I tend to just think that the world is pointless anyway. When will you be old enough to look old enough to be served beer? Yeah, because Skid Row and I have like been out drinking and stuff, and I've always had to wait outside while he gets two beers. It's, just, it's interesting. I don't know. Hopefully by the time I'm 30. But by then you'll be dead. Uh, four, what does OK stand for? Um... It stands. I, I probably could Wikipedia that and I'd know an answer to that and problem solved, but I, I'm not going to. Five. If a person owns a piece of land, do they own it all the way down to the core of the earth? Uh, the question that's really going to bake your noodle is let's say somebody manages to create a base in the sky, like uh, in Captain Scarlet. Does he own what's beneath? And if not, why not? Uh. Six, if a grown man plays video games alone in a forest with no one to see him, is he still a nerd? I've once brought my laptop into the forest and no one was around to see me, and I even made a video series out of that, so trust me, I'm still a nerd. Seven, what is the most desperately bad joke anecdote that you've told that bombed in a public setting? I was once in a car with... I was working at Oxfam, and we were driving from one branch to another branch, and to break the ice, I said, um, okay, so here's a joke. Uh, what did the leper say to the prostitute? And I go, keep the tip. And he was just disgusted by it, because, of course, Oxfam probably deals with lepers. I didn't know what I was thinking. So there we go. Do you support the right of a mother to toss... This is Julia as a film buff. Do you support the right of a mother to toss her baby into a fire? Um, I think it should be mandatory, and that's why I'm no longer an anarchist. Uh, do you like big butts? Uh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm indifferent to tits. They, you know, if somebody's an eight, but they have big tits, I'm not going to. That's not going to make them into a nine. Tits do nothing for me. It's all about the butt. The skeptical lunatic asks, "Will you marry me?" Um, I'm already marrying black acid lizard. Um, a cyborg atheist asks, "If the dick is longer than the Earth's orbit around the sun." And given that Rick Santorum can store exact, exactly five apples in his anus, how many bronies does it take to kill a Nyan cat? Let me just break that down. So let me break that, okay. okay. The dick, okay, the dick, right. So we've got a penis... Bit of a crude looking penis, um, and we'll say that that's the measurement there five to one, and why I think 2.5, whatever. Xantorum, uh, Xantorum's face. Rick Santorum's face, and we've got, you know, apple, 
times 5 into straight into anus. So there's an anus there. Whew, shit, okay, hang on. I, no, I need a calculator for this, mate. I can't do this. No. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll get back to you. I'll send it to you in a PM. Hypnosis Dig asks, do you watch any big name YouTubers? Uh, I mean, fail blog, obviously, because it's hilarious. Uh, most big name YouTubers suck, though, right? I mean, Ray William Johnson is shit. SXE Phil is shit. Shane Dawson is shit. The Amazing Atheist is shit. Um, so, no. I mean, you know, there are U YouTubers who I watch who have like 30,000, 40,000, stuff like that. Thunderfoot, occasionally. But, you know, I think when you say big YouTubers, you mean the, you know, the massive celebrities. And no. Uh, just, if so, who do you like and who don't you like? I'll just explain that. I hate Ray William Johnson. Uh, I also hate those reply girls, the ones who, you know, one popular video like, oh, a joke from Skyrim. And then you'll have, you know, Megan Speaks or The Reply Girl. And they're just boobs. And they're shit. They, they talk for about 52 seconds about nothing. And their dislikes are so... It's just they overwhelm the amount of likes they get. Um, also, do I have permission to put the thumbnail for this video in my wank bank? Uh, well, you're probably going to want the thumbnail for this video now because, you know, I'm out here topless. Favourite video game of all time? Don't ask me that. Asymmetrical Warfare asks, If you had to force two people to fuck at gunpoint, who would they be? What, like, I'd like personally to watch them fuck? Or I just hate them and I want them to fuck each other. Sam Cedar, yeah, it would be Sam Cedar getting fucked by Rick Santorum. You know, Sam Cedar is a dickhead liberal, Santorum is a dickhead conservative. I'd like to see them two trying to work out how to bum each other. Um, I probably wouldn't watch, but it's just knowing that they've done it. Anarchist Opposition asks, do you think it's at all likely that, that the gene that determines someone's de gene? That the gene that's the dirt... Do you think it's at all likely that the gene that determines some, someone's degree of socialism is the same gene that determines their ability to grow facial hair? Is that a dig at me? I've got, like, whiskers on my chinny chin chin, so... Um, and... Uh, I don't know, actually. I mean, you know, you have Kropotkin, we have Marx, you have Bakunin, Prudhon, the, all these people are all very hairy faces. We have Brendan Cooney on YouTube, he's a big bushy beard motherfucker. We have Buddha Gem, he's become beardy. That's an interesting point, actually, yeah. Yeah. In fact, the hairiest capitalist sort of I can think of is Roderick Long. And he's like a left libertarian, isn't he? So maybe he's, he's got a bit of the socialist gene in him. Uh, Treeler Killer asks, How dumb is Maoist Rebel News 2 on a scale from 1 to 5? Uh, he can't be that dumb since he's actually got me, excuse me, featured on his channel page. So obviously he's a pretty smart guy because I am brilliant. Uh, the Duke of Spades asks, "Did Volker ever answer your question?" Uh, he tried. He tried the day it happened. Just for the backstory, about a year ago I made a video which I will link poning Volker, and the question I posed to him was, well, basically what he did was he he accused, I think Skid Row Radio and other people of attacking a 17 year old um, and making her into a victim and my point and his 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 rage the justification for his rage and his drama whoring was that well she's 17 and therefore not an adult but this is a guy who has fucked a girl who was 17 in the past something so are you going to openly admit now that you have fucked girls you don't consider adults so implications of that are pretty dire so it's are you either just starting drama and you're not actually really angry you're just you know you're just a drama whore for the sake of it or are you going to admit to being a kiddie fucker by your own standards not my standards the legal age over here of course is 16 so whatever but you know the guy's like in his 50s so that is pretty dodgy you know what i mean there, there's a difference right but the point is by his own admission uh he 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 tried to answer it he said Oh, I would have defended her anyway, even if she wasn't 17. Which is just one of the options, you know what I mean? It doesn't get him out of it at all. So it's like, okay, so you're admitting now that age has nothing to do with it. So your rage is, has nothing, yeah, your, your rage has nothing to do with the age. You're just drama whoring. And since then, he kind of faded into nothingness. He, he kind of simmered down a little bit. We didn't hear so much of him. I like to pretend that that's partly 
to do with me. But I don't want to flatter myself, but I, I think I heard him. Atikana asks, my trivial question is this, which man is most to be envied? A man with an IQ of 200 or a man with the penis size of a rolling pin? I tell you what, mate, I've got both, so... To be honest, it's not that easy. I think you should pity me, to be honest. It's, it's difficult to walk, it's difficult to fit in in social situations, because everybody's below you. So, ne neither. You shouldn't envy either of them, it's a hard life. Um, Stone Commander asks, ever coming to New York? <sighs> nah, probably expensive. Although in the holidays, I'm probably going to... There's a chance. It's either in Oxford or at George Mason University. There's like some libertarian seminars, which... I mean, it's probably going to be a bunch of vulgar libs sort of talking to each other, talking past each other. But it's it's an excuse to go into America, isn't it, I guess? So maybe, maybe I might travel around America a little bit. <clears throat> but I have said I was going to America loads of times, so... Mirage Science asks, are you changing from an emo to a hipster? Oh, never mind, you took them off. Ooh, I took these off as well, coincidence. Um, my question is, would you answer my question if, in fact, I asked one, I just can't come up with one, ruffle wow. Oh, what does semen taste like? It's kind of like pool water, I've talked about this in blog TV. It's, it's not, I mean, you know, I wouldn't recommend it, but it, I think it depends on your diet. Apparently people have nice semen if they eat a lot of pineapple. But yeah, mine kind of tastes... It tastes like the smell of when you just come out of a pool. Like the, all the chlorine and stuff. Weird. Um, but that's my own. Maybe other people's is different. I don't know. I've not, I'm not a cum connoisseur. Um, I'm not a cum guzzler. You have to ask your mum. Son of Tanit asks, what are your views on the whole YouTube race debate? Do you consider yourself a race realist? I've already answered this slightly. I think it's more of a serious business question that belonged on my other question in my other question answers video. I've not looked into the issue much. I think it makes sense that race is a valid taxonomical term. And intuitively, it seems unlikely that evolution would just stop at the neck. You know what I mean? Um, but I don't know about this. Maybe there's more of a nuance. I, I don't know. So don't, don't ask me. What? This is D-I-R-M-I-L-J. Why are most YouTube libertarian social misfits with an unquenchable thirst for drama? Does such behaviour qualify you as a fully-fledged faggot, or are there any higher echelons of faggotry to achieve? Um... Th you've stumped me, actually. I don't... I don't yearn for that much drama anymore. I used to be way more of a drama whore than I am now. Um, though I think my faggotry's increased as my hair's grown in length. And I've worn these glasses. Um, but I don't think there's an unquenchable thirst for drama among libertarians on YouTube to any greater extent than any other community. I mean, even the beer-drinking community has drama. There, there, There is a community on YouTube where people basically drink alcohol and they hate each other. So, no, it's, there's, there's no correlation between being a libertarian and a drama whore. Breaking Media asks, um, this question got nine thumbs up, so people think it's, ooh, this'll get them. Fuck a tranny that looks like a Victoria's Secret model, or the beastly man thing, Susan Boyle. Tranny, hands down. I mean, if you look that good, who cares what's in between your legs, seriously. And like my dad said, any holds a goal. So, yeah, tranny, no, no hesitation at all. Um... Are there any words or phrases that you find particularly offensive, insulting, or just annoying? I think... Stop talking. Go to bed. What are you doing in my house? Um, do you mean, like, annoying figures of speech and stuff? I mean, I could care less, that kind of thing, you know, the way Americans say it and the way British people say it. I get pissed off the way Americans say it. This is from Tony G. Milan. Um... One, from the list of your favourite TV shows, which one of the girl actresses would you bang? Oh, from my list, okay, uh, what did I list? I listed... From the, uh, okay, so you're saying like one of each, one of each of, okay. Uh, Hell on Wheels, I would bang the... I forget, I forget, I mean, the prostitute lady with the, like the native markings around her mouth. Uh, Dexter, obviously, his sister, Morg uh, Deb. Uh, 
Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, I, I honestly didn't find any of the women in it particularly interesting. Like, none of the female characters in The Walking Dead have any depth at all, I've noticed. In, in the... In the TV show, anyway. We, we obviously see another side to them in the comics, but in the TV show, it's just... It's kind of nothing. Uh, Breaking Bad, Breaking Bad. Well, Skylar, yeah. Uh, Sons of Anarchy, uh, Katie Seagal. Uh, I know she's like 70, but whatever, she looks good. Two, would you let Peter Kropotkin dunk his bald head in extra virgin oil and rub it all over your body? No. I, I just I, I don't see what the benefit is of that. You're going to have to sell it to me, mate. Three, which 3D movie did you see as to why you were wearing those glasses and how was it? Uh, it was Harry Potter 8. It was the parts, you know, it was 7 part 2. It was really, really good. Really cool. Brilliant, brilliant movie. I would recommend it to anybody. Awesome. I'm sure the book's better, though. Uh, A.D. Johnson says, You look like a total babe with those glasses and the desaturated effects. There was no effect. Again, like I said in the comment section, I just have a radiant glow. Doll Snatch asks, I like your hair. Thank you. Um, Raymond Dundas says, he asks, which people on YouTube would you most like to beat with a cricket bat? Or well, Sam Cedar, I'd like to beat him. I think people are expecting me to say you, James, but I think, what's the point? I mean, no, no, no one takes him seriously anymore, so it's fine. So who would I hit with a cricket bat? Who would I hit with a cricket bat? This is a difficult question. I mean, I'm quite a hate-filled person, so I should I should be able to just recite it off by heart. <laughs> Who would I hit with a cricket bat? Oh, um... No. I don't know. I don't know. what. I, I'll c c come back to me, but we've, we've already got Sam Cedar done there. And, and I, already know, I already know you know who Sam Cedar is, so that should be enough. CA9109 asks, do you watch anime? Um, yes, yes I do. I, I used to love, well, I, I prefer manga to anime because there's always like more bleeding and more swearing and stuff. I love the series Rave Master um, with, by Hiromashima. And I'm kind of watching, but I stopped, but I don't know why, his thing called Fairy Tale. I thought that was quite good so far. Although a lot of the characters are kind of rehashed versions of old ones. But I think that's partly deliberate. Two, tits are ass. Like I've said, tits are meaningless to me. It's all that matters is ass. Uh, three, do you watch porn? Uh, what kind? Uh, I think I've already talked about this in my last video. I think it's kind of unethical because, you know, a lot of these women are all desperate and stuff. So that's why I only fap to child porn because they can just get stuff off their parents, can't they? They're, they're, they're not living on the streets or anything. They just, they just get free stuff off their parents. So child porn. Um... Four, what do you think of the Linux distros compared to Windows? I don't give a fuck, mate. I don't use Windows or Linux. I use a Mac. Um, I think Linux fags are more in are more irritating than Mac fags, though. Rage Against the Clampdown asks, where did you buy those hipster glasses and why? We've covered that. Two, have you ever been caught masturbating? Almost. I once got told to come downstairs, but my flies were undone from masturbating previously. And so I knew if I stood up, it would immediately, you know... I don't think my penis would come out, but they'd see that my flies were undone. Um, I've also had sex, and then when we finished, I've come downstairs and found that, you know, shoes have been moved around, and people had come in while I was upstairs making noise. Three, what are some of the worst pet peeves, and what are some good examples of them that have happened in your life? People talking to me when I'm trying to read a book... Um, people trying to get to know me when I don't want to get to know them. In fact, today that happened. That's a perfect example of that today. I was in a subway today. Uh, I don't mean the train thing. I mean I was buying a sandwich. And I just, this guy was talking to the guy at the counter. So I goes, excuse me, I, I, want, I want to move out of the way so that I could get a Fanta. And, you know, I see nothing of that. You know, that's fine. I leave. And then the guy ends up, t turns out he's walking with me. I'm not sure if he's following me, or we just happen to be walking largely the right way. And then he talks to me, I forget how the conversation started, but he's like, oh, hey, I remember you from earlier. <laughs> he's Asian. And um, it's like, oh, all right, hi. I, you know, acting like, oh, we had some great chat earlier. I said, excuse me. And um, I was like, oh, you, you, you were at the university? And I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. He goes, 
I go, you? And he goes, yeah, yeah. I go, and I go oh, yeah, I'm, I'm a second year student. Um, what are you? Are you, are you third? And he goes, no, I'm doing it. It's like a master's, but it's two years. And uh, so he talks to me about that. He asks for my number. He didn't even know what my name was. He asked for my fucking phone number. Before, and I told him my phone number. I don't know why I did that. I'm, I'm too friendly. Um, so I gave him my phone number, then told him a fake name, because I wasn't really comfortable. He goes, hey, come sit down at the bench. We can chat for a bit. And it's like, dude, who the fuck are you? I think his name was like Addy or something. Then he points to a building. It's one of the university buildings, so it's not like it's a warehouse where he's going to bomb me or anything. But he was like, hey, we come there and chat for a bit. And it's like, what? can't we just talk here? He asked me if I'm going to the library. And I'm like, no, but I'm kind of going in that direction a little bit. And he... Yeah, and he goes, oh, come on, come on, ten, ten minutes, ten, ten minutes, we'll, t we'll talk in there, ten minutes. And it's like, that is not how you get to know somebody. And he even says, oh, it's, oh, it's difficult, it's, it's difficult getting friends, you know, it's nice to see somebody friendly and stuff. And it's like, the only reason why I'm being friendly to you is because you approached me. I, I, you've pushed me into the situation. I didn't want to give you my number, I didn't want to talk to you. I never talked to you, I just, I fucking asked you to move out of the way in a subway. And then he's like, oh, come on, come on, ten minutes. And I just made up some bullshit. I said, oh, no, I've got to go home because my parents are expecting a Skype call. I don't know why I thought of that. And he goes, yeah, oh, come on. I go, I, I just I just go, no. And then just walked away. And I'm just thinking, that that's, that's weird, isn't it? Like, I complain that people are rude to each other and they're not friendly enough to each other. And, you know, kids these days are a bunch of lippy, rude bastards. But... That is a weird way to get to know somebody, right? That's not normal. And I, I did the right thing there, didn't I? Where I just avoided the fucker. I am if Purr, who I thought hated me. Would you rather be eviscerated by Dulsnatch or I? Um, I think Dulsnatch would be a little bit more sadistic about it. I think Dulsnatch would put on a funny voice. I think that Florida accent that she puts on, she'd make it a lot stronger. And you know it would just be really weird, weird and sadistic, and I, I, so I think I think I am if per you would just get it done quicker. Who really wins the world? Who really wins the world? Who? Sir Tony Bagels asks, who really runs the world? Zionist Jews or the UN Zionist Jews? Just the regular Zionist Jews. The UN have no power. Heroin Church asks, have you ever kissed a boy? Yes, I have, and I instantly regretted it. It was at a party, and he was dead sad, and his cat died, and I thought I'd cheer him up. Fringe Ailments asks, this is Fringe Ailments, not Fringe Ailments. If I gave you my number, would you phone me and sing to me in French? I don't speak French, so that's a bit silly. Uh, Priapus512 asks, don't you think a lot of these questions are obscene and immature? Uh, no, no, this is, this is a in-depth theological research. Fountain Hurts asks, one, do you agree with race realists that race, particularly spicks, spooks and gooks, is more important than the state right now? Absolutely not. And I think the biggest danger to civilization are a bunch of Caucasian and Jewish men wearing suits, putting their hands on the wrong buttons. I think that's that's the biggest threat. Uh, not, not, not some, you know, street crime. Two, are niggs oppressed by the state or is it a victim complex? Apart from police brutality, I don't really think there's that much to complain about, so I, I suppose. Three, are black anti-statists Uncle Tom's? Um, well, there are no black anti-statists, so I don't know what you're talking about. In fact, there's I'll, I'll link down below, but there's a chart of, you know, the demographics of anarchists, and it's almost overwhelmingly white, and some people who identify as human... All the people who are just identify as human, not black or white, they're all white, basically. Uh, there's a YouTuber called Socialist Sleepover who recently had recently had a kid, and his kid is called uh, Benjamin Lysander, which is an awesome name. But then on the birth certificate, he was asked, you know, to put the race, and he put human race. And I'm thinking that's a, that's such a fucking white thing to do, isn't it? That's such a white thing to do to put human. Like, how white are you? Um, it's funny. Like, we're so lame. Uh, four, why do honkies in particular create the stupidest fucking subcultures like hipster and emo? Um, it's because honkies already have the dominant culture. The dominant culture is honkitarianism. And people are bored of that because that's the status quo, and so they invent their stupid subcultures. I mean, I doubt that there are emos among white communities in predominantly black countries. 
Okay, it's it's just boredom. Can it be explained by race realism? No, not at, I don't know how at all. Six, where is number five? Very clever. Favourite song in Ocarina of Time? Song of Storms and Death to Anyone Who Disagrees. Um, it was the Jews... <laughs> It was the Jews' fault, asks. Also, I should have asked this in your previous video, but what did you think of the coalition government so far? If I remember right, did you vote Lib Dem? I did vote Lib Dem. I don't necessarily regret it. I'm glad that the Lib Dems are there to dilute the Tories, and, you know, I'm, I'm kind of glad a smaller party had a bit more of a chance. But I don't have any hope for them, and I'm not going to vote in the next election because it's pointless. So there we go. Those are your answers. And, that wow, that was even shorter than my last one. Yeah, cool.